It's the Agribusiness Report. I'm Tony St. James. Hey, welcome to Omaha and the 2022 ABA Ag Bankers Conference. It's the 70th conference, and we ran into Clay. Clay, great to see you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Okay, so Clay Doyle is with the First National Bank of Granbury and mm -hmm. your Vice President of Lending. So, a little background about how you got into the business. Well, my father was a banker up in the north central Texas area in Springtown, which is about 20 miles northwest of Fort Worth. Um, he retired in 07 from a local bank there. And then another bank out of Fort Worth came and asked him to start another branch in Azle. So he went back into banking. Um, I had lost a job with Equifax at the time in about 2012. And then this bank approached me to become their first credit analyst. So in 2013, I went to work for a bank in Fort Worth, and then my banking career has progressed from there. I've been from Fort Worth to Colleen, now to Granbury. And let's throw this in as well. The okay. bank is a member of the Texas Bankers Association. Yes. And you're chairman of one of the committees. I am chairman of the Rural and Ag Affairs Committee with Texas Bankers Association. And our statewide meeting is going to be coming up in March in Fort Worth at the historic Fort Worth Stockyards, and we're looking forward to it. So who, who joins in that, that meeting in Fort Worth? Who will you see from there? We will see a lot of local uh, bankers from a lot of small town communities, uh, you know, all the way from the Panhandle down to the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, we have probably 55 members who continuously come every year. We're looking forward to a big turnout this year. We've got a lot of uh, great um, speculation of, of new guys coming in. So we're looking forward to our meeting in Fort Worth this year. Ag, rural areas, you know, it, it's misunderstood. If, if you've lived in a rural area, mm -hmm. if you're involved in ag, you obviously understand that. But uh, there's a misunderstanding of what's out there, isn't there? I think there is. I think a lot of people who live inside what we call the beltways, you know, whether it be Houston, San Antonio, Fort Worth, Dallas, uh, they don't understand what rural Texas provides for them on a daily basis, whether it be food, fiber, clothing, leather, anything. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions from the urban population of what the rural population does, who we are, and what we, what we do for Texas on a daily basis. I guess you could say there's a certain amount of, of apathy there, but don't we see some of that same apathy when it comes to dealing one-on-one -on -one with our bankers? I think apathy is one thing that folks maybe uh, have in the back of their minds. I think they're scared to go talk to their bankers sometimes if a difficult situation presents itself. Uh, if, if there are some difficult times, go talk with your banker because they can help you get out of them. And the sooner you bring it to your banker's attention that, hey, you know, I, I'm, I may be late on a payment this month or can, can I get some help or what do you think about if I did this? The bankers are there to help you and we, and we need, we want to help you. That's what we're there for. We're at the ABA Ag Bankers Conference in Omaha, you have the opportunity to visit with a, a wide variety of, of lenders from all across the nation. Are you learning some things from them? Very. I've learned a lot, and I've got to meet a lot of good people. Um, some of our sessions we've had have been very eye-opening, especially with things that are going on in different regions of the United States. We've had some great speakers, and uh, it's been very educational. Talking about uh, educational, mm -hmm. you've spent a, a little bit of time in education through the school board. How important is it uh, to be involved in the local community? I was a local uh, school board member in my community of Azle, Texas, which just right outside Fort Worth, was there for seven and a half years. And I encourage folks to get on your local school boards. Um, it, it's a good community activity. Uh, it opens your eyes up to a lot of what goes on. Uh, a lot of folks have a misconception about the school board, that they have all of this grand power. The three things your local school board does is they set your tax rate, they hire and fire your superintendent, and they are the last appellate decision on anything it regards in the school board. And when you do serve on the school board, you get to go to Austin for the state conventions, and you get to meet with your state 
elected officials, and that really kind of opens up folks' eyes to seeing how the democratic process works, especially during the legislative session when the Texas legislature is down making the rules and you know approving budgets and everything. When you go to Austin during the legislative session as a school board member, it is a very eye-opening experience. Would you say it's also an opportunity to maybe educate other board members and board members from maybe other communities that don't understand ag in rural America? Yes. Uh, when you bring both urban and rural Texas together, and especially in the legislative process, and you know, we can one side gets to see what the other side does. And it brings folks together and it says, okay, well, these folks over here need our help and these folks over here need some help too. And I think that's what's one good thing about the Te Texas School Board Association is when they bring these communities together and see how their local la lawmakers are putting things together for their communities. I think it's, you know, a truly a good thing to see. Clay, it's so good to see you and, and thanks for your, your service and your passion. And we'll look forward to seeing you in March in Fort Worth. March in Fort Worth. It'll uh, be the end of March in the historic Fort Worth Stockyards, our Rural and Ag Affairs Committee with Texas Bankers Association. And if we want to learn more about the Texas Bankers Association, is there some way we can do that? Uh, go on to uh, the TAB.com, uh, our Texas Bankers Association website. We have everything listed right there, and we look forward to having you on Fort Worth. And since we're giving out websites, what about uh, First National Bank of Granbury? Where can we find you? FMBGranbury.com uh, is our website. We're, like I said, just a local community bank in Hood County right outside Fort Worth. And uh, if you ever make it down there, come by and see us. Clay Doyle is with First National Bank of Granbury, Texas, joining us today from the 2022 ABA Ag Bankers Conference in Omaha. I'm Tony St. James. It's the Agribusiness Report.